My name's Peter, and I'm 45 years old. I was diagnosed some time ago as a parent of schizophrenic. I like to travel the buses and get out and about as much as I can. I like to go to different towns, different parts of London, to watch the people. I like to observe them and go to work in the morning. It reminds me of when I was working. This is pretty early before the rush hour. I get a thrill getting on the buses and trying to behave normal amongst the people. I have problems sometimes with the bus drivers. Not this one, she's, she's very nice. They see a travel card and they sometimes wonder, what are you doing with a travel card like that? They have no idea that I might be a schizophrenic. I like to sit to the middle of the bus, get a better view. I'm sure some people must think, what's, what's his problem? The feeling's neutral. I do the same thing. I watch people and they watch me. Get myself comfortable. Uh, I like to have a sleep. I put my headphones in. I listen to Kepler Radio. I just have a sleep for about 15 to 20 minutes. No more than that. As an insomniac, I can be awake for 24 hours. And I need four hours the most. They say when you get older, you don't need a lot of sleep. But I think it's partly because of my illness and my diagnosis. Most of the bus drivers are pretty cool. They probably wonder why it is I get on the buses to fall asleep. It's a strange world. I hope I'm not going to be ill all my life. The buses can be pretty eerie. I'm sure they're haunted. We travel on the buses at 3, 4 in the morning. I also travel on the buses all day sometimes to try and find myself. There's no one around. It could be pretty lonely. I just listen to my music. It's just me and the bus driver. It's very eerie. I must say I do feel very alone at times.